Collagen types. Approximately 20% of body proteins are made of collagen. There are approximately 20 types of collagen. Collagen is a tough but flexible framework that mechanically traps the proteoglycans and cells and is made by the fibroblasts. Bone is made of type 1 collagen and so has everything attached to the bone such as ligaments, tendon, and the menisci. Also, if the cartilage is injured, it gets help from the bone and it heals by fibrocartilage, which is predominantly type 1 collagen. All these structures are predominantly type 1 collagen. Also, the annulus fibrosis of the intervertebral disc is type 1 collagen. It is attached to the bone. If we have a defect in type 1 collagen, we may get osteogenesis imperfecta, which means, in a simplistic way, fragility, bone fractures, and blue sclera. A defect in type 1 collagen may also give Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is loose joints and stretchy skin. The majority of collagen in the body is type 1, approximately 90%. The majority of collagen in the cartilage is type 2 approximately 95%. You will find type 2 collagen in the nucleus bulposus of the disc and in the hyaline cartilage of the joints. Type 2 collagen is very stable with a very long half-life, approximately 25 years. The cartilage cells don't make any new cartilage. The cartilage components and framework was supposed to last for a long time. A genetic defect in type 2 collagen will give you the spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia, the SED. So type 1 defect will give you osteogenesis imperfecta, type 2 will give you the spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia. Type 3 collagen, you will find it in the blood vessels and the skin. God created the bone first, followed by the cartilage, followed by the skin. The skin is type 3 collagen, and it is related to the development of dubitin contracture. With tendon healing, the fibroblasts produce type 3 collagen in the first 1 to 7 days. The tissue then remodels and replaces the type 3 collagen with type 1 collagen up till 18 months. How about type 10 collagen? Type 10 collagen is produced by the hypertrophic chondrocytes during endochondral ossification such as in fracture callus, or in the growth plate, or in the heterotopic ossification. Type 10 collagen is associated with calcification of the cartilage found near the calcified cartilage. Type 10 means calcified cartilage. When you have the hard calcified cartilage, you get 10 over 10. So it is a 10 collagen. When there is a defect in the collagen type 10, you will get Schmidt metaphyseal chondral dysplasia. Type 11 collagen is an adhesive that holds the collagen lattice or arrangement together. If you have a fracture that's fixed by a compression plate, what type of collagen do you get? Collagen type 1. Because the fracture is healing by primary bone healing, there is no cartilage. 
primary bone healing, the elite bone healing, is type 1 collagen. Bone is created first. Bone got O-N-E-1. What if you use a rod? You will get secondary bone healing because there is a cartilage in the healing. If you have a cast, brace, an external fixture, or a bridge plate, and not a compression plate, you will get secondary bone healing. You will get abundance of cartilage and abundance of callus. With this abundance of cartilage, you will get type 2 collagen earlier than when this cartilage is calcified or is mineralized then you will get type 10 collagen and the soft callus becomes harder callus and as the soft callus change completely to a hard callus you'll get abundance of type 1 collagen means bone type 1 is bone bone is created first so it's everything after that